Mick Foley comes out early. I thought they were going to save him for the last segment to end the show. But Mick Foley has interrupted Elias. They're face-to-face going back and forth on the mic. Another raw reaction. We're something special. I mean, that is the stuff of legend. Elias claims he was in the arena to see Mick Foley fall off the head cell, get thrown off. In June, June 98, over 20 years ago. A broken man who is singing the same sad song he's been singing for the last 20 years and he barely remembers the words. <laughs> why are you why are you chanting Mr. Sacco? Just chant Foley. Come on. You're making Mr. Sacco more over than Mick Foley. I actually didn't come here to talk about the past. I came here to address the future. Oh, the future. You want to talk about the future? Well, guess what, Mick? You're talking to the future. Come on. Just punch yeah, yeah. punch mean, out of lies. You got all the skills, you got the tools. You keep your head straight, your eyes on the prize. I see in front of me a future WWE Universal Champion. But I'm not talking about someone dominating for years to come. I'm talking about the very near future, six nights from tonight. You see, despite my differences with Stephanie McMahon, I live very close, just a short ferry ride away from Connecticut. So uninvited, unannounced, I arrived and made her a proposition. And I said, Stephanie, with the Hell in a Cell 20th anniversary rolling around, don't don't let me be the guy on the couch watching this show. For the sake of history, let me play a role. Let me let me ring the bell. Let me keep the time. Let me, Mick, Mick, if, if I know Steph like I do, my guess is that she laughed right in your face. She did. Right, right in my face. And then I reminded her of a moment in time after I'd been thrown off that massive structure. They brought a gurney, a stretcher on wheels out, but the, there was nowhere for the gurney to go. So the massive cell started ascending towards the heavens. How, with the undertaker how is Mick Foley still and able to walk out, after they knew, that? They didn't think they knew. That match was over. But on that one night, because there was an element of magic out there that made me feel like I was tougher and stronger and braver than I'd ever been before. And I know for a fact tougher and stronger and braver than I've ever been again. I found the strength. To roll off that gurney. And as I began to ascend that massive structure one more time, there was an electricity in the air. And if you could have bottled it to the source, you could have lit up the city of Pittsburgh for a week. And so I explained to Stephanie my challenge. How it's, can uh, I feel as alive as that night? It's a miracle. When I was almost dead. It's a freaking miracle. Mick Foley's able to walk. Come back to and the guy didn't die. He could have died. After that match, with a front tooth still jammed in my nose, then I met Stephanie McMahon for the first time, and I said, don't shut me up. Let me be a part of the action in some way, somehow. So I'm here to tell you that six nights from now, I'm not going to be ringing a bell. I'm not going to be... Keeping time, I won't be around ringside at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view at all. You see, when that door slams shut on Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns, when their future meets my past and the future becomes now, I'll be locked inside with them as a special referee at Hell in a Cell. Special Mick. guest referee, Mick, Mick Foley for Roman Braun in the cell, good. Sunday, six Listen, nights away. You need to take a piece of advice from Elias and shut your mouth and go back where you came from. You've taken up enough of my time. Oh, Mick Foley steps back in the ring. 
He's pissed. You played a millions every week. You're going to be a superstar here for years to come, but I haven't been here in 18 months. I'm Nick Foley. You're going to listen to what I have to say. Before I left that office, Stephanie looked at me and she said, you know, Nick, the, the constable's got a lot on his plate. For old time's sake, how about you make one match here, right here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Bobby Lashley, I bet. And guess what match we're going to make because I'm going to come next. Bobby Elias. You see action against this man. It's going to be Bobby Lashley. I was wrong. Finn Balor. Sadly, Finn and Elias, I don't even believe I have matches. They, they don't even have matches at Hell in a Cell because the company is stupid and has nothing for them. I should say creative team is stupid. You can't blame the company. Creative team is stupid. They don't know what the hell to do with Kevin Owens, Lashley, Finn Ballard, Elias. They don't know what the hell to do with them. And they've been doing nothing with them. Very sad and depressing and pathetic. Mick Foley cut a great promo. The guy's a king of promos. The guy's one of the best promo guys ever. If you don't believe me, watch Mick Foley cut promos in ECW. They were off the charts. They're epic, legendary promos he cut in ECW. So Mick Foley announces that he talked to Stephanie and he wanted to be at Hell in a Cell and now he's a special guest referee for Roman Braun Universal title match. Bang, bang. I like it. Bye for now.